So here we have a function that describes a particle's motion as it goes from left to right along the x-axis. Time interval 0 to 12, and we're given one point and a particular time where the particle can be found. This is not a calculator part of the exam, and so we have to do all of this work uh, symbolically. And we're going to be answering questions about whether the particle is moving to the left or the right, how we evaluate total distance traveled, acceleration, speed, and ultimately position of the particle at a particular time. And I've included uh, formulas over there in blue on the right that I think will be useful to this. So, part A, when is the particle moving to the left? Okay, well, moving to the left, in this case, is the same as uh, v of t being less than zero. And I think graphing uh, this is a good way to get a sense of what's going on. So let's graph v of t. Not an elaborate graph, but for one thing, we know that it, um, because it's the cosine function, we know that it'll range from negative 1 to 1. And let's just try plotting it from 0 to 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, well, let's first look at, at t equals 0. We have the cosine of 0, and the cosine of 0 is 1. At t equals 12, we have uh, 12 pi over 6, the cosine of 12 pi over 6, which is the same as the cosine of 2 pi. And we know that that is also 1. In fact, we start to see that what they've given us is one cycle, one period of this function. Because when we plug in t equals 6, the 6 is cancelled, we get cosine of pi, and we know that's negative 1. And so from there it's pretty easy to, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah. From there it's pretty easy to fill in the rest of this curve, at least to sketch it out. And it looks something like this. Okay. So from that we see. Now they want to know when it, when the particle is moving left or when the velocity is negative. So this is t equals 3. Here's t. Here's 9. Here's v of t. And so this occurs when uh, t is between 3 and 9. Okay. Now we're on B. What is the total distance traveled? Well, again, we just pull that straight from uh, this reference equation total distance traveled is the integral over the time period in question of the velocity function integrated with respect to time. Okay, I'm just going to write or just to be more clear This is total distance traveled. Okay. Okay, now in C, we want the acceleration at t equals 4. Okay? So, acceleration at 4 is the same as v prime at 4 
and that means that we take the derivative with respect to t cosine pi over 6 t and then once we've found that derivative we evaluate it at t equals 4. Well that's going to be by the chain rule uh, negative sine pi over 6 t times pi over 6 I'm going to evaluate that at t equals 4 and I get a4 equals uh, let's see um, putting in a 4 is going to give 4 pi over 6 let's write this out negative pi over 6 sine 4 pi over 6 which is 2 pi over 3 we know that the sine of 2 pi over 3 is root 3 over 2 and so we get negative pi over 6 root 3 over 2 negative root 3 pi over 12. So to find uh, whether speed is increasing or decreasing, we need we also need uh, v of 4. Uh, so v of 4 is going to be cosine of 4 pi over 6 which equals negative 1 half. Alright, so C continued. So we use this table and we see that because both the acceleration and the velocity are both negative that the speed is increasing. Let's just draw a line here. Because Excel and velocity are both negative speed is increasing. Okay. Now part D. What's the position of the particle at t equals 4? Well here we use the fundamental theorem. which just says that if you want to know the value of a function at a particular input value, it's equal to that value, the value of that function at a known input plus the integral of the derivative of that function from the um, input value where you know the function to the input value where you'd like to know the function. In our case that means we want to write that x of 4 equals our known value is x at 0, and then we need to integrate from 0 to 4 v of t dt. Okay? So x of 4 equals x of 0 is negative 2 plus um, the integral 0 to 4 cos pi over 6 t dt. I'm going to do a u substitution to do this integral. I'll write that down here. We're going to say that u equals pi over 6 t and therefore du dt equals pi over 6 and therefore du equals or rather dt 
equals uh, 6 over pi du. We use this fact back up here and we get x4 is negative 2 plus an integral from t equals 0 to 4 of cosine u du with a 6 over pi. So we have x of 4 is negative 2 plus 6 over pi times the sine of 6 of, I'm sorry, pi over 6 t where we're evaluating from 0 to 4. So x over 4 is negative 2 plus 6 over pi times sine uh, 4 pi over 6 is sine of 2 pi over 3, that's going to be um, root 3 over 2. And sine of 0 is going to be 0. So finally we have x over 4 equals negative 2 plus 3 root 3 over pi.